So a couple of weeks ago, my steel line garage door started playing up. The uh, door opener was lifting the door up about three or four inches and then just stopping. Uh, pressing the button would sometimes open it up completely, but eventually, about a week ago, it, it actually failed completely. And uh, this is a model sold in Australia. I'm not sure if there's, if there's any other countries that use this same model. It's about 11 or 12 years old now. I think it's manufactured in about 2007. Um, it's a, an R, RD112MZ. You can see that there. So I had a look at the, uh, the mechanism on the roller door and all seemed to be okay. And eventually I put it down as an issue with this controller box here because I actually turned it off at one stage then turned it back on again and it didn't seem to want to do much at all so I figured it's something wrong in here so I've taken it apart it's already disassembled it so these little lugs here would normally fit in these little gaps here so you need to get a quite a, a large screwdriver force it into that gap there push quite hard and this lug here should bend backwards slightly as you're doing that once you get it back past the, the plastic part Put another screwdriver or a credit card or something in there to, to make sure it stays closed. No, sorry, make sure it stays open a little bit, just a bit. And you need to do the same on the other side. And eventually you should be able to get this off. And there's only two screws holding the whole case together. So you need to get this cover here off. And that involves putting a screwdriver down into here and wiggling it out of it. And eventually you'll be able to prise that cover off. And there should be two screws here, which I've already removed. You can then just fold the whole top backwards to reveal the internals and uh, there should be two screws holding this circuit board on one here and another one I think sits about here I've already removed them now if we take the circuit board out and flip it over I think I've discovered what the issue might be this blue capacitor here can you see it has a slightly bulging top to it that's an expansion expansion joint i'm not sure exactly what it's called i think that should be flat and at the moment it's bulging slightly to form a, a peak which means the capacitor has failed um this model is a samsung 1000 microfarad 50 volt i think it operates at 85 degrees, but you can probably get that one that operates at a higher temperature. I'm going to replace it with a 105 degree model, which should be okay, I believe. What we need to do is we need to um, probably discharge that capacitor first, just to be safe. Uh, you can find out how to do that on another video. Just look up how to discharge a capacitor. It usually involves just putting a, for the small ones, you can probably put a screwdriver across the two terminals. So they can hold charge for quite some time after being disconnected and can give you a bit of a nasty shock. Um, you could also try putting a, a, a small light bulb across the connections. Anyway, so desolder this capacitor and then reassemble and hopefully we should be good to go. So I did forget to mention to actually replace the capacitor. Um, I ended up getting three capacitors of the same size on eBay for about five or six dollars. They might not last as long as the original one, but uh, they only last three or four years and I'm doing okay. I'll just replace with the one of the other two I got spare. The other thing to remember is when you um, take out the old capacitor, make sure you make note of uh, which side that the uh, negative terminal was on and match it up with your new capacitor. Usually the negative is on the short, short leg. And once you uh, solder the new capacitor in, you can clip the legs off and they'll be as short as these guys. This capacitor is actually a little bit longer than the original. It's a little bit longer, but uh, it fits fine inside the case. There's plenty of space for it. And here it is back on the wall. And we will press the button. Down it comes. Stop it. Off it goes. Amazing. Thanks for watching.